Unveiled in a Munich hangar, Germany's Helsing has pulled the curtain on Europa, an AI-driven combat drone built to fight and think in swarms. Promising a 2027 maiden flight, the stealthy V-tailed CA-1 aims to rewrite air power doctrine with autonomous tactics and a fraction of a fighter jet's cost. Europe's largest defense startup is betting billions that this homegrown machine will redefine the next generation of war. German defense startup. Helsing unveiled a new autonomous combat drone on September 25th, joining a race to build remote piloted systems that can swarm into battle with fellow robots or team up with crewed fighters to help reshape the future of warfare. Unveiling a full-size model of the angular V-tailed drone at a factory outside Munich, Helsing said the CA-1 Europa would stage a first flight in 2027 and become available for military use within the next four years and termed it as the most ambitious project till date. According to the Warzone report, the prototype looks very similar to the MQ-28 Ghostbat. Boeing's Australian subsidiary developed Ghostbat first as a loyal wingman drone for the Royal Australian Air Force. The US Air Force has also now acquired at least one example ostensibly to support research and development and test and evaluation efforts. When asked to comment on so-called drone walls in light of recent drone incursions in Denmark, Helsing's co-CEO Gunbert Scherf told Reuters, AI is not just a feature, it actually shapes the design, it shapes the way that you think about your mission, your conops, how you actually fight. And therefore, mastering this and actually having complex software enables you to work with simpler hardware. And that made us actually acquire Grob Aircraft, an aircraft company specialized in the three to five ton segment, which is very relevant for this size. And together with our partners, we think we can actually offer a truly sovereign blended option that builds on that. But AI is not the feature, it's actually the thing that designs it and therefore we think it was fitting that we would, as an AI company, build an autonomous system. And with CA1 Europa, as we have called it, we have today made an offering to Europe to do this from Europe for Europe. But fundamentally the idea is that instead of having few very complex systems, fighter jets that are multi-role as in the past, we rather want to have many simpler, mission-specific and even attributable platforms that then work together intelligently in swarms. Helsing is the latest tech firm to make a pitch to become a primary manufacturer of weapons in competition with heavyweight arms companies, reflecting the increasing role of AI on the battlefield and pressing demands for agility and mass. The CA-1 Europa joins a list of unmanned combat aerial vehicles that are cheaper and more dispensable than fighter jets as air forces face harshly contested environments. Speaking to Reuters, Scherf predicted the most efficient way to fight hostile drones would be not with any single product, but it will be a system of systems that is needed. So I think the idea of a drone wall, whilst it means different things to different people, uh, I think is a very sensible idea. First and foremost, I think it's focused right now on drone defense, so being able to intercept drones um, uh, that um, uh, in a more efficient way than we've been currently doing. I think that makes a lot of sense. Personally, the way I think about um, that problem air defense and the role that Helsing could play in that, we think this will ultimately not be any single product, but it will be a system of systems that is needed. Air defense is a complex problem. There's different altitudes, different speeds, different assets that may be coming towards you, and they will need a holistic effort of multiple companies as part of a bigger system of systems or a drone wall, if you will. Helsing's acquisition of German light aircraft manufacturer Grobe in June provided crucial manufacturing expertise for the Europa project. Grobe's experience producing lightweight military trainers for 14 nations offers a foundation for scaling drone production, though experts note significant technical challenges remain. The Europa falls within the 3 to 5 ton weight class typical of current wingman designs, similar to Grobe's existing trainer aircraft. 
This strategic purchase addresses concerns about tech companies' ability to master complex aircraft manufacturing processes. Helsing said the AI-powered drone would operate alone in throngs of other uncrewed vehicles or at the direction of fighter jets in a so-called wingman formation. Last year, the US Air Force selected startup Anduril and Reaper drone manufacturer General Atomics to develop the first fleet of collaborative combat aircraft, which can perform missions such as jamming or act as decoys. In June, Airbus presented its own concept for a drone designed to fly alongside jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon. Helsing said it would invest hundreds of millions of euros in cooperation with unspecified European companies. It declined to say what weapons it would be able to carry or how much the all-European drone would cost, other than saying it would be a fraction of the cost of an ordinary fighter jet. The design was revealed in the hangars of light aircraft maker Grobe, which Helsing bought in June. Grobe makes propeller-powered, lightweight military trainers used by about 14 nations, which are roughly the same size as the current wave of wingman designs, three to five tons. While touting their agility compared with traditional rivals, AI firms have faced some doubts that they can quickly and cheaply master aircraft processes or scale up production. One way to do it was to buy an aircraft manufacturer with experience and possibly innovative approaches, said Douglas Barry, senior fellow for military aerospace at IISS. That said, there is a big leap from what Grobe does to a full-blown CCA. Founded in 2021 with backing from Spotify CEO Daniel Ek, Helsing initially focused on AI software development for defense contractors. Russia's invasion of Ukraine catalyzed the company's pivot toward drone manufacturing, where it has demonstrated real-world impact. The startup has delivered 2,000 HF-1 drones from a 4,000-unit Ukrainian order, utilizing locally sourced hardware components. According to DealRoom, since then, it has raised over 1 billion US dollars from investors, including Saab, to become the largest European defense startup with a valuation of $12 billion. However, analysts say it has yet to demonstrate significant deployments in the field. It has supplied 2,000 HF-1 drones out of 4,000 ordered for Ukraine, based partly on local hardware. In February, Helsing said it had started producing 6,000 in-house HX-2 strike drones for Ukraine. Asked how many had been delivered, Scherf said the HX-2 was being tested and would be introduced in the very future.